so today we got a special review for this is this is for my 200th video this is a 1994 Chevy Suburban 2500 with the 454 as you can see it's in really good condition it's silver auto trim so it's high trim it's the highest trim in the 90s you can see everything's nice on it it even shows it was fuel injected which is new for then got the tow package everything just looks good on it and you got these BF Goodrich all-terrain tires which are all backed up away from it this thing it makes this truck look so huge I mean, this basically is a well it is after all a 2500 so got the tow hooks in the front you can see the undercarriage you don't believe the miles on this it's got the uh, mark 3 package which is really rare to find these days on uh, the suburbans even shows it on the steering wheel 62,000 right there it's crazy get your lights your light controls Oh yeah, this is even cooler. Let me hop up in this bad boy right here. And uh, you got the uh, like these 90s conversion van lights, which goes all the way to the back, which is so cool looking. And you get your rear AC controls right here. We'll do a startup in a second. You get your radio, all original radio right here. I'll show you also, this also all works. Put the key in. You see the radio works. Close the door so it shuts up. Let's roll out these windows. It's hot as crap out. It's got all power windows all the way around. They all work. But you got the radio, your AC controls with that also works. I got to put it into that. That also works. Your equalizer works. The stereo. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. It is the 90s, so, I mean, what do you expect, really, from this? You got your turn signal right here, I think. I don't know. This is, oh, there's a turn signal. Your washer stuff. And your cruise on and off. And you got your gear selector right here. It's got a four-speed automatic transmission. Works awesome. And it's got four-wheel drive. And your, here's your manual four-wheel drive, which I think this looks cool. Then you got all of this wood. And this is all factory, too. This is all factory wood all in here. And then you even got a little cooler in this little compartment. This is also all, this is all real wood. No uh, China wood. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, ashtray, I'm assuming. Never, obviously, never been used. Got your tape player, which I'm sure that works too. It's just crazy that all of this is still in good shape. And I'll show you guys the back. All right. So it says Silverado right there. And usually these will have rust in the bottom the this does not have rust this is from chicago or not chicago it's somewhere up north around that but they're called it's colorado that's where it's getting colorado you enter the back you have the nice wood right here nice chrome door handles nice chrome locks they're very huge power windows in the rear you got your cup holder which i think these are cool you can adjust the size of cups. So let's say you have a McDonald's cup and you're chilling out here in the back in 1994. In luxury, because these seats, like, look at all of that. All of this cushion in these seats. And then you do this, like, once you get it to the size, wherever you put your drink in there. Then when you're done, close it up. You also have an ashtray in the back because you know how kids smoke. In 94, kids were smoking back here. 
Then, you know, 1994, they had USB ports in the back. Well, this is added on, obviously. But you have nice USB ports added on. At your back seat. Uh, pouch right here. It, some very nice arm armrests right here that fold out on both sides. You get your seat belts. Also, Mark III stitched in the headrest. And you should put these up. Let's go to the back. The very, very back, which also has Mark III written in the seats right there. Which is really nice. You get your nice seat belts. And these seats are also luxurious. There's no exception. They're still ultra luxurious. You have your speakers in the roof back there. I don't think there's speakers in the wall. Yeah, they're. I don't know if those are speakers, I don't think they are. And if you're also a uh, kid in the back, you can also smoke some stuff back here because, you know, that's what you do when you're five years old or six or whatever. So you have speakers right there. You can't see it right there. You also see another speaker. Front, you got two speakers. And yeah, you got all the wood. And I'll show you guys the back, how much room you got in the back. Obviously, these those uh, steps and tires aren't factory. Here's your back. You also have that nice Mark III leather all over. And you pull this handle. You have plenty of cargo room. This is basically the Ford Excursion of 1994, but even cooler. In the 90s, all you had was all like Phillips head screws, which made it even simpler. Got your spare tire cover right there. Full size spare, obviously, because this is not a Chevy Traverse or a Chevy Caprice. Uh, you also have these little things, I guess, for, I don't know. I actually don't know what those are for. You got little pockets right here. You can put all kinds of stuff in. A nice tint on the back. Here's what it looks like. Here's what the entire, you also get the lights right there. Nice AC vents all the way to the back. You know, close these solid doors. Alright, sorry about that. The video stopped because my storage got full because I have other videos planned. But we're not going to go into that because you came to see this nice Suburban. You have your fuel tank, which I'm pretty sure... I'll put how many gallons it is right up there. Also, I'll put the horsepower up there. Speaking of horsepower, you guys would probably like to see this massive 454. Yes, I know. I'll turn on all the lights so you can also see hood release right here. So you have some nice LED lights that are upgraded because the stocks are very dark. Or not very dark, not very bright. But you have these very nice clean looking clear lights installed. And I'll also show all the lights on all around. Wherever the hazards are. I don't know where the hazards are. Here's the hazards. Right. Oh, the hazards are on. So here's what it looks like. You got your incandescent bulbs for the turn signal bulbs and your LED headlights and LED high beams. I forgot Chevy's did this. Whenever your turn signal turns off, it actually goes to the other bulb. I forgot Chevy's did that. I think they did that in the 90s. I thought that was only 2000s Suburbans. It's got your rear lights, which these were also replaced because it will look way better now. And yeah. Let's get to under the hood of this bad boy. Turn off the hazards. Also, forgot to mention the power mirrors. Also, that's surprising for 90s. Uh, let's see. How do you pop this thing? I forgot. Here it is. I remember now. So you got like push. It's hard to do this one-handed. You got your 454 big block, which is when they say big block, it really is a big block. And the AC compressor and everything's replaced, so we'll have some nice cold AC whenever I get to review the interior a little bit more. But yeah. The grill was also upgraded on this because the other one didn't look as nice. But here's your 454 big block. That also adds a 1,000 horsepower right there. 
Yeah, you got your little light right here, which I'm not gonna mess with. You got a little under the hood light. You'll see another one. Close this, this up. All right, so how would y'all like a cold start? Let's do a cold start. Cold slash warm start, you know? Unfortunately, this part of the video will have to be this size, but yeah. This 454 big block sounds really nice. I was just listening to this idol for a second to appreciate this big block. <clears throat> so I'll put the horsepower and torque specs up there. Now these are really known for the torque that they had because these could tow quite a bit. I think like 10,000 pounds, which was really good for like the 90s. But as you get in, roll up the windows on this thing it's hot outside. Just automatic. Nope, you don't get automatic in 90s. All right, so you got your nice AC. Uh, put on max, put on high. Very nice ice cold AC in this thing. Uh, you got your gauges right here, which this thing goes about to 85. Which 90s, the speed limits weren't really that high yet, so that's why they made them like that. You'll have your dimmer for your gauges right here and your interior lights. Then you got the. Uh, which it flicker in the video, that's my camera doing that, doing that. So it's not the thing itself, it's just my camera. You got it, uh, your nice equalizer. You can change everything, it's just a refresh rate of the camera guys doing that. But uh, yeah, you got your horn right here, which is the old 90s one. Your light controls right here, your auto lights, which I'm assuming are for the doors when you open your doors. Because if you turn that off, I'm sure it just, uh, what's it called? It just doesn't have your door lights come on whenever you open the door. You got your vent controls right here. This is how you actually move your vents. It's by doing that, you by adjusting it, and then you can turn, turn them to however you like. Got your glove box right here with all your stuff in it. And all your, I'll get the books out. I'll get the books. You have all your original books. So you have your uh, lightweight duty warranty and your 1994 Suburban and Blazer owner's manual. And these are the original ones right here. Talks about all the stuff that you need to know. And then also a couple cool little things. You got cup holders in your uh, glove box. So whenever you, uh, for some reason, want to put your McDonald's, massive McDonald's sweet tea in there, you could. You also have, well, this is a factory, but you can put cup holders here cup holders here which I don't know those aren't that usable it's got some room for put it's also got cup holders back there I forgot about that I forgot about that it's another spot it's us turn the radio it's got the factory uh, Delco radio with the tuner and everything obviously if you need to change your AC to temperatures you can move them, move them on over. You got your uh, controls to change where you want it. So if you want it on your feet, you can go on your feet, I'm assuming. Then if you want to put on your uh, defroster, you can do that. If you're not gonna do that, we only want it on our face, because that's where I'd like to have obviously the AC going. So you can have it go there, you can have it on max, which is the mode you want on, or just normal AC. We got the off, which we're not going to do because I don't want it off at all because it feels good in here with having that on. Also, you got your oil pressure or temperature. 
Here's your cold temperature. Obviously, you see the temperatures of the high. Your battery voltage. And I'm pretty sure that's your trip right there. That's the trip. Dude, yeah. It's very nice condition, Suburban. It's got power steering, obviously. Hopefully, it would. But yeah, very nice condition, Suburban. These are getting really hard to find now, especially with the Mark III package. Obviously, this is not going to be for sale. I would put a link if it was. But if you want to know where you can get like some more cool classics like this, go to WorldwideVintageAutos.com. Link down below, not sponsored. Uh, they sell all kinds of cool vehicles, and you can put your vehicle up there for consignment, and people can buy your car off there, which is also how you get it. You can get all kinds of cool vehicles off there. And also, you have a couple, or no, just a cigarette lighter thing right there with a Bluetooth thing which is obviously not factory yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one